See, about Monterezos Prime, I'm not an expert about the project, because we only know about the surface information. Regarding the design, I cannot really criticize it, because all I know is from my place in the Fugawa Rice Terraces, the topography is slightly different, however, they have professionals to address the design and construction. What I can comment, however, is the business behind developers. In all pre-selling designs, nothing is built yet. Because in real estate, house and lot packages are already built. But pre-selling will ask for your down payment, for reservation as well. So that famous de developer would hire architects for the designs, builders for the project, and he will be the one to make the costing. Basically, he's the project manager or the contractor. The real estate would be the one in charge of selling the lot, and the developer will build upon it. Now, because there's nothing built yet, they do a pre-selling of the design, so investors and buyers can pool their funds inside the project. But since it is a business, the money paid for the first house might not be used for this house. It might be used for some operations until you get a buyer for the second house whose money might be spent for the first person's project and because a lot of buyers would borrow from the bank or bank load bring out the money from the bank pay the bank this money will take months to start the construction so you as the buyer who bought this house your money does not go here directly it goes to the first person's house and that's why the marketing hand should be able to sell more and more and more to keep the business going. Your money will go here, this person's money will go here, this person's money will go here until it reaches construction of your house. Not all developers are like that, but that's the hidden secret of the industry. Where the architects will just be design and planning, which should be this one actually, because the way most architect works it's true ethics, your money, your house.